Sunday, everyone. I am just actually getting up and kind of starting to get my day going. Mike has left to go help his mom this morning and then he is going to go dash for a couple hours after that. We do have that birthday party for my girlfriend later. We have to go help his mom and dad this afternoon and then we're going straight from there and leaving to go to the party. He's gonna dash for a couple hours then come home and we're gonna break our fast and have lunch together. We just took some hamburgers out of the freezer just to do something quick and simple. I still have a couple hard boiled eggs in the refrigerator that I need to eat and then we need to meal prep more hard-boiled eggs for the week and cook up some hamburgers so that he's got something to take to work this week. I'm also thawing out a beef roast Hopefully, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. I have made my fat coffee, but it's only 10 o'clock and I just, I kind of really want to drink my coffee even though it's not noon yet. Technically that breaks my fast because there is butter and collagen and an egg in there. So I wasn't thinking. Honestly, I just woke up. The first thing I did was watched Autumn's live this morning at Watch Autumn Keto. I kind of laid in bed and watched that. And then when I got up and came downstairs, I was just like on autopilot. I'm like, oh, I just want to make some coffee. So I made my coffee and now I'm like realizing that I probably shouldn't even drink it for a couple more hours. Uh -oh. If it was black, I would drink it. So I think what I'm going to do is just get my trusty book out since I have a little bit of free time this morning and read my chapter for today. So that is done. I won't have to do that later. I also have some research and phone calls Mike and I need to make. Mike's helping me to try to figure out where we're going to hold the Keto Ohio meetup. We're looking somewhere in the Columbus area, but we need to contact some restaurants and see if we can find a place that would have a space that we could reserve. So I'm not familiar with Columbus because we are about two hours from there, so I'm not familiar with any of the restaurants. So that's going to take a little bit of research on our part. So we need to get that done as well. I think that's it. Just getting going and getting our day started. Uh, we will check back with you guys later. Okay, guys, here we are. It is a little after one. A little bit later than we normally like to eat. Yeah. So we haven't broken our fast yet. I did go ahead and make my coffee into an iced coffee. <laughs> Cause it's so warm outside right yeah but i couldn't drink it and it was gonna sit and get cold anyway yeah. so did you realize that that i made my fat coffee when you were getting ready to leave today and i couldn't drink it because it would break my fast i did not realize that at yeah. all yeah so not i talked i talked about it this morning i was like i made this coffee and now i can't drink it i wasn't thinking it was just like get up sunday morning make coffee, make coffee like yeah. i just didn't think about it no i didn't even think so about we it. cooked up two packages of bacon on the blackstone and i just hard boiled a dozen eggs for the week mike cooked a couple hamburger patties so this is what we have a couple hamburger patties I put some, a couple hard-boiled eggs on here he's not having hard-boiled mm -hmm. eggs because he doesn't like them and some bacon and we have a bunch of bacon here so we can either have a little bit more if we still want it whatever's left will go into the refrigerator for purse bacon so or as I like to call it baggy bacon baggy bacon <laughs> <laughs> so that's about it I just wanted to show you guys real quick what we were having I did read my chapter in Dr. Barry's book but Mike hasn't read it yet, read so it yet, we so. can't discuss that we will <laughs> get back with you guys after our birthday party today and we'll let you know how that goes we still don't know where we're going to eat no no so clue. it's super hard to plan ahead especially when you're doing beef butter bacon and eggs and try to decide what you're gonna have but i guess we're gonna wing it ah, i wish we could wing it yeah <laughs> pun intended yeah <laughs> we'll see you guys back here later this evening Okay guys, sorry about the lighting here, but we're just sitting in Mike's truck. We just left the party. We're gonna make out like teenagers. <laughs> Mike said this was the worst birthday party he's ever been to. <laughs> Why is that, honey? Because they had pizza, cake and ice cream, and of course, carbonated beverages, Pop. and we could have none of it. And to be here to celebrate someone's birthday and be drinking bottled water and that's it, sucks. I mean, I'm just saying it does because that you're here to celebrate a party for somebody, a milestone birthday, and we couldn't even join in the, the minimal by eating. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, we just stayed focused on what we were doing. I'm not yeah. saying it was hard, but it, it was, it sucked because normally we would enjoy that with somebody, but. 
So it's six o'clock and we haven't even left to go to dinner yet. We don't even know still where we're going to dinner. Hopefully we can get the end of this video in before it gets too late tonight. We'll see you, stop yawning. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, change of plans. So our friends wanna to go to the casino and they said that we could just grab a bite to eat there, but Mike and I are really, because this is so strict and we don't know what's gonna be available and we feel like that's gonna be very cost prohibitive, we are swinging through Arby's and we are each gonna get a one pound bowl of roast beef. And Mike got bacon with his. I just got the roast beef plain. That is what's for dinner. Hey guys, we're home. It's uh, almost 10 o'clock. After we left the casino, we obviously had to go help Mike's mom with his dad. So we're just now sitting down. So we're gonna kind of keep this short and sweet tonight. And wrap this up because I still have to edit the video and get it posted. So just real quick, we wanna talk to you about the chapter that we read in Dr. Barry's book. This lie this week was about wheat. The lie is that wheat is healthy. <laughs> that's that's the lie. It's just like with the milk thing. It's been pounded in our heads that whole wheat is super healthy for the body. In reality, that's not necessarily yeah. true. And the book said that there have been studies that show that whole wheat is slightly better than bleached flour. That's a lot different than saying whole wheat is actually good for you. The analogy he used is like filtered and unfiltered cigarettes. Filtered cigarettes are slightly less bad for you than a non-filtered cigarette. But does that mean it's good for you? Right. No, there's a huge difference. And that seems to be the, the common theme among a lot of these food items that we have been told are healthy. It's not that they're healthy most of them are just slightly bad. better or less bad it really is less yeah. bad for you right it's tough to wrap your mind around so he also talked about the glycemic index of bread whether it's whole wheat bread or white bread it has the same glycemic index and it's actually higher on the glycemic index than table sugar yeah table sugar so what dr barry said is you can eat a spoonful of sugar yeah, you could eat an entire spoonful of sugar and it wouldn't spike your insulin as much as eating two slices of bread. If that tells you anything. So every sandwich that we've eaten over the years was actually worse than, than just, just taking a spoonful sugar. of sugar. Yeah. Finally, something else that I found interesting in this chapter was just talking about how we have basically created hybrids of wheat. The wheat that we are eating today is not the wheat like that they had back even in the 60s. They've completely altered it. Because of that alteration, the wheat that we eat today is actually higher in gluten. And because of the higher gluten content, we have more people who have inflammation and celiac disease and other reactions. And and the whole gluten it. epidemic that just came out of nowhere. Right. We were all like, how come all of a sudden everyone's allergic to wheat? Well, it's because they have basically created that. Yeah. So a it's big, a, it says it's a dwarf. A, a dwarf hybrid. But they've uh, genetically, when I say they, the food industry itself mm -hmm. has genetically altered just about everything that we eat now. So nothing yeah. that we eat today is the way it was in its original form. Exactly. Yeah. So that was something else I found very interesting because we have ourselves have questioned why all of a sudden all these people have gluten intolerance or gluten allergies, celiac disease. We just hear about it more and more and more and it never was a thing before. And it's because there's more gluten in the wheat that they're producing now. Food allergies altogether. We have a family member who out of nowhere, boom, all of a sudden is allergic to so many different foods. Yeah. Can't eat them because it causes inflammation and swelling and hives and hives. I mean, what yeah. the heck, where did this all come from? It's because it's genetically altered and it's not the way it was intended to be. Right. There's a lot of great information in here. Yeah. He gives you a lot of information about the glycemic index and how beef and meat and everything is zero on the glycemic index, which is why we're eating those things this month for beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Those things are very, very low on the glycemic index. So when we are eating a lot of protein, we're not spiking our insulin as much as some of the other things right. that we could eat. There are some things on there that he listed, you know, you have if straight glucose on the glycemic index is 100 and you have things like pretzels that are 83. I mean, they're almost as bad as just 
straight and, glucose. And, and pretzels are, they, you know, they taste great, but think about that. Is that worth it? Because you know when you eat a pretzel, you can't just eat one pretzel. Yeah. You need a whole bag full. He had like a little chart. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. And a lot of you guys have read this book. And that's a small sample. Oh, yeah, of yeah. Obviously, all obviously, the Obviously, Obviously, this information's available online if you wanted to go in and look and see where things rank on the glycemic index. I mean, come on, guys. A Snickers bar is 43 on the glycemic index, but pretzels is 83. You'd be better off eating the Snickers bar than the pretzel. But most people would think, because the pretzels are low fat and because the Snicker bar has sugar in it, that it would actually be worse for you. Yeah, pretzels and mashed potatoes are both 83, so they're both really high up there. Again, you'd be better off eating the Snickers bar, so. Mm -hmm. There was definitely some interesting things in here. He did touch back on the fact that we feed these grains to animals to fatten them up. It was a short chapter, but a lot of Active information. information yeah. yeah, that's about it today, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Sorry to have to cut this short, but. The clock is ticking. Yeah, it's been a long night and Mike does have we to work tomorrow. We all got to get up and go to work tomorrow. So, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great evening. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.